still he's strong. <laughs> Y'all seen that? Squats is good for those legs. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is gonna be a vlog. Y'all, I wish y'all could have seen me this morning. I was like such in a dump. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'll insert a little clip of me and how like depressed sounding I was, but I definitely wasn't having a good morning because it looks like this outside. So <sighs> for some reason, the weather always has an effect on me and my mood. And when it's days like and this. Your boo is leaving. Yeah, and you left too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Connor just came back from his job, but I was like super sad too because Connor was leaving and it's like my first day being home alone. He gone. Usually he helps me with filming. Usually, you know, we argue throughout the day and you know, it's my excitement for the day and it was none of that. I just got up from like an hour nap. It feels so, so good. I feel so rejuvenated. I feel so ready to do this day now. Um, I feel like I'm gonna work out right now and then we have to go to the grocery store because we literally have no food. And I'm gonna get me a big ass jug of water, y'all, because literally my skin is going insane. If y'all have any recommendations, please let me know down in the comments. Mostly natural recommendations because that's what I like. I don't really like using artificial type stuff. But y'all, this side of my face in particular is just why. I mean, why? I mean, they look a little bit um, deflated, I guess, because I put toothpaste on them at night. I don't know if you guys know about that little hack. It's actually not one to follow, I would say. It's supposedly not good for your skin. But um, me and my sisters just always do that whenever we got a pimple, just to like reduce it in size a little bit when we were like younger. Cause that's the last time I had like bad acne was in like high school. So that's why I'm like, as an adult, I'm like, I don't even know how to, you know, deal with this. So I thought about the time when I had like really clear skin and I could only think back to when I was like working out every day and drinking so much water every day. I would drink like a jug of water every day y'all in like 2015, I was a totally different person. But now I'm like, I need to get back on that. I need to get back to drinking water because I feel like this comes from maybe dehydration. Like I really don't think that I get enough water in the day. So yeah, y'all, we about to work out together. And I'll be sure to link out the, link out. I'll be sure to link the workout video that I do down below because last time I didn't and y'all like, Sierra, what a workout video is. But yeah, I gotta be better about like this stuff, y'all. And then I get to try out my auto body panties, y'all. If y'all follow me on Instagram, you've seen me do that little unboxing. Actually, if you don't follow me on Instagram now, it's the perfect time because sometimes I'm like on there and I'll like post stuff on there that I didn't get to put in a vlog or just random stuff. Uh, I wish I could say that I'm on Instagram more than I'm on here, but I'm not. I'm actually on YouTube, I feel like more so than I am Instagram. Yeah, I don't know, I just don't get on Instagram as much because it just overwhelms me as to like what to even put on there as far as like pictures. I don't know if you guys have seen my Instagram, but I feel like it really doesn't have like an aesthetic, like a real aesthetic. I just feel like I post whatever I like want to. But yeah, follow me on Instagram with all that being said. Let's hop into this workout. Woo! All right, y'all, let's see what workout video I'm going to do today. So I've changed to my little workout outfit, which is my Skims. I actually did a Skims review, if you want to know anything about it. The real deal, because y'all know I always let y'all know the real deal. But I washed it, dried it, and still looks good. So maybe it's a better quality than I, than I thought. Giving you a little heads up as to what that review was looking like. But anyway, so what I like to do to find a workout y'all, and I try not to do the same one every day. I try to discover new people. And it's funny because sometimes I find myself watching workout videos while I like eat, just to like scout out a new like person that I think I might be interested in. Oh shit, he's strong. <laughs> y'all seen that? All right, y'all found a video.
burpees. All right, y'all. So I was really liking what he was doing. He was doing too many jumps for me. So your girl is about to do some freestyle, and I'm gonna do focus on what I really want to focus on, which is that booty, abs, arms. Yeah, baby. So it looks like I'm getting strong, right? But when you press down, oh shit, she getting a little firm. She getting a little firm. But yeah, let's get it. I'm gonna do a little freestyle. For things that I've learned for booties, and now I can't think of any workouts. Wow, look at me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put y'all on the floor <laughs> so we can so y'all can be level. All right, y'all, now me, let me do some squats. <sighs> squats is good for those legs. <sighs> All right, y'all, so done with that workout. As y'all can see, I'm looking pretty sweaty. About to get in the shower, though, and I'm just choosing my music for the shower because I have to. It gets me started for my day. It puts me in the right mindset. So I love my little concerts in the shower. I like this little mix. I got like All Your Fall with uh, Kanye, Late, some 50, some Adele. As y'all can see, my music taste is just like all over. <laughs> I like to listen to like gospel some days, 50 Cent some days, shit, Jay Z some days. Like, I'm all over when it comes to music. And I'm not too keen on new music so much. So, you hardly ever really see me listening to like new music unless it just really speaks to my soul. Oh. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm gonna stay at this angle because I have little bumps here and I don't want y'all to see, but these underwear are so comfortable. Okay, look at them, look at them. Wow, wow. <laughs> no. Connor is about to teach me how to make coffee, y'all. Fun fact, we've been together about two years and Connor has made me coffee just about every day. <laughs> for the past two years and yes because i don't know how to make coffee with his whole setup so now he's going to be going to work i feel like now it's the perfect time for me to learn how to make coffee with his whole setup so let's see how we do it so first we gotta boil water boiled we just boiled the water Ooh, it's hot no i just touched that but you boil it until it comes to a steam or to a, to a boil Mm -hmm. And then he is taking coffee well, beans. Yes, I'm gonna do pour over. Wait, babe, I have to do it. You have to show me. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Okay. Right? Okay. Quite literally, I'm gonna show you. Grab your filter. Grab your mug. So, this is the instrument that Connor uses for his coffee, y'all. Like, it looks so confusing. What do you even call this? It's a pour over thing. I don't know. I don't know the exact name for it. Okay. So, how do you use it? Alright, so, it's designed to fit over the cup, so... Oh! Right? That's okay. why you've always seen me like that every morning. Yeah, I thought you just did. I don't know what I thought you did that for. You fold... <laughs> wait, wait, okay. So you just fold it, it could be either way, you just fold it along the seams, they usually fold the bottom first, and then that, so it's just like... Boom. Why do you fold it? So it just fits better. Okay. You just open it and it's kind of like pressed it in. Oh, there. I see. It's like that. Okay. Boom. Done. Boom. So this is what it looks like on the inside with the filler. Filter. Wow. Okay. Alright, so then you need to grind the coffee beans. Okay. And you put it in there. Okay. And we are using Pete's, Pete's coffee. coffee. Connor's mom sent it to us. Yeah. I used to work there actually. Oh really? Mm-hmm. 
Chicago. Oh, yeah, I knew that. Okay. All right, three. Boom. Perfect. Okay. Done. So now. So I have my coffee beans in there, if you guys can see that. And we did one. Nope. No. We did. <laughs> <laughs> what did we do? Here it is right here. That's what we used. I actually don't know. I don't know. A point twenty five ounce per cup little holder. That's what we use to measure out the coffee beans. But okay. I feel like I'm gonna be eyeballing it. I'm not one to use like yeah, cups. That's, that's, what, I do too. that's what kinda does. So then we put this on top and this is what is this called? Babe? It's a coffee grinder. A coffee grinder by Mueller. Alright, let's see what's that. You don't want it to be. You don't want it to be like too fine. Okay. You also don't want it to be like little pieces. Okay. All right. See how I think there's. That looks perfect. Nope. See how there's some big chunks in there. Okay. So that's not. You shake it around. See, there's some big chunks in there. Yeah. You have to do some more. And what I usually do, and you don't see this in the morning, but I usually pick it up in my hands. Mhm. Mm oh, sorry. Okay. Press it down and kind of just like. Take it a little bit so then you just get some more hits all the different pieces okay so, so now okay so that's the consistency that you want yeah okay smell smell good that's some fresh coffee boy so yeah this is the cons what the consistency looks like so you guys can see this is the consistency that you want says connor Says me. Says Connor, but Connor actually used to work at a coffee shop for a couple of years though, right, babe? Yeah. For a couple of years where he made all types of espresso drinks, coffee drinks. Mm -hmm. So this is the real deal right here, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So now what we do, babe? You just put it in. Okay. Just, just like and that. then and then what? If you want to get some um, Forget what's on footage of the water going in. Yeah. Then do it. Here, I'm about to show you. Okay, and then we pour the hot water in, you guys. Can you see it in the camera? Yeah, they can see, babe. Can y'all see? I'll pull it over so y'all can see. How much water? Just pour it, but don't let it overfill the top. You don't want the beans going over the side of the filter. Okay. That sounds interesting. Mm-hmm. And you just keep on filling it until the cup is full. Oh, Super cute. Yeah, so it's a very simple process. Nice. So not as hard as I thought it was, honestly. So you just yeah. round the beans and then just pour the water over. Yeah, like, put about, the filter in. Yeah. You're basically yeah. Like concentrating all the... Imagine all the beans having the juice, right? Mm-hmm. Easy enough. Easy Thanks, enough. babe. Mm. Y'all never seen us kiss before, I feel like, because I might not want to do the PDA thing. It's just not my thing. But he deserves a kiss for that. Right, Show me so how to make coffee. definitely need more, right? Yeah, we definitely. Oh, so, okay. So sometimes what I like to do is just like go around, see how it kind of gets stuck stuck on the sides. Yeah. Can't wait, babe. I don't think we can see. Okay, so it's stuck along the side a little bit. So now we're about to add some more water. Yep, yeah, and pour it so that it kind of... Gets Scrape. the edges. Yeah, it gets the edges. It kind of scrapes the stuff off. Okay. Sweet. And be careful because it could really easily overflow too. So I'm just gonna kind of pick it up a little bit. See where it's at. See where it's at. Okay. And that, and that, you guys, is how you make pour over coffee. Pour over coffee. Now I'm about to go to the grocery store and get some dinner. It's still raining. It has literally rained all freaking day. Like that's one thing that I hate about like New York is for the most part when it rains, it rains the whole day. Like in Chicago, we would have days like that, but for the most part it would rain for like a couple hours and then stop. But honey, it's been raining all day. So I have to get in some rain gear, I guess. But I actually have this a cold wall rain hat. I'm gonna show you guys, hold on. Remember when I was telling y'all, Connor teaches this lady, this Korean lady English? 
or helps her improve on her English. So that's why he's so damn loud. But don't you love when your fashion buys, your fashionable buys just make sense for the day? Love, love, love this a cold wall rain hat that I got from Essence. I got it on sale from the Essence sale and it was like $50 so I couldn't pass it up. And it's nylon, super, super perfect for rainy days. Like I don't even have to wear an umbrella when I wear this guy. So that's why I love it. Kind of just like fucking wow. But yeah, if I can link this down below for you guys, I totally will because it is a must for rainy days. So I just got back from the store, you guys. Connor is done with his lesson. So now we're about to cook dinner, but I guess I can show you guys what I got from the store. Grocery store haul. I got two things of chicken because we're gonna have that tonight. I got mustard greens because I've had a taste for greens. My grandma used to make greens for me when I used to live with her and I just miss it with like hot sauce salmon for another day i got like a bigger piece of salmon so that we can just split this asparagus to go with the salmon but we have that green pepper because we ran out of pepper and then just some potatoes i have no idea why the potatoes was just so small now a days but can work with that and then some tomatoes because we needed tomatoes and witch hazel because my face been going crazy as i told y'all my face been going crazy as i told y'all and at this point you guys i am talking up this little situation on the side of my face up to the witch hazel that i've been using 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 because i have been using this like bior witch hazel which is not 100 percent witch hazel because it's been sold out at like all of our little Rite Aids, all of our little corner stores, which Hazel has been sold out. Anyway, your girl is about to cook Din Din right now. I'm gonna come back at you guys when I'm done, or in the process, rather. All right, you guys, so I have prepped my collard greens here. I just peeled them, and I know, okay, now the oven's done. I know some people that are used to like that really Southern cooking. Don't y'all remember that your grandma used to put them in like a pot? You know, I'm pretty sure I could have YouTubed it, but anyway, I feel like this is a healthier alternative to preparing greens. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just gonna, you know, grill them until they get a little soft. And then I also wanna put some spinach in there. Got my spinach here. And then for the chicken, you guys, I just cut up some green pepper, some onion, some lemons, give it a little bit more flavor. And I put some seasoning, cayenne pepper, garlic pepper, salt pepper. I can't wait to see how this turn out, you guys. I hope it turns out good because I'm hungry. Oh. But yeah, so I put that on like that. And it's funny because I don't watch like any cooking shows or anything like that. Me cooking is literally just what I've seen my grandmother's doing growing up. So this is how we do it. So the chicken's gonna take a little bit of minute, so I'm just gonna tidy up a little bit because I definitely love to clean as I go. If y'all don't know, I worked for Chipotle for like two years and that's like one thing that I took from them is just cleaning as you go. Chipotle was like one of the cleanest establishments I've ever worked for and it means a lot for me. It means a lot to me to clean as I go and it also means a lot to me to make sure I'm not cross-contaminating. I'm like really big on that which is why our cutting boards right now are soaking in bleach. Because I accidentally, you guys, this is our like vegetable cutting board, the like dark one, and then this one is like our meat cutting board. I ended up putting the chicken on our vegetable cutting board, so I was like, freak, let me put this in some bleach to soak all that bacteria and germs off of it from the meat. And yeah, so I just decided to put them all in bleach and soak them because I feel like they haven't gotten a good soaking in a long time. So that's what we're gonna do. I just made me a little bit of drink, y'all, as I'm cooking, because I felt like I needed a drink today. And Connor actually purchased this aloe vera watermelon juice. And usually I don't like the consistency of aloe vera juice. I just think it's gross. But the watermelon kind is actually pretty good. And then I just added a little bit of Svetka Vodka. Not feeling it yet, though.
So as you guys can see, dinner is ready. Actually, Connor took over because I'm on a friend. I'm on a friend. Ooh. So I guess I'm filling the drinks now, y'all. But I'm on a call with my best friend, Dom. Say hi, Dom. Hi, everyone. Yes, so Connor actually took over the cooking portion. As y'all see, I had the college greens prepped, but Connor just came over and put like the tomatoes in and the spinach in. Got the sweet potatoes, and the chicken actually looks pretty good. Did you try it? No. No? No. Your hair looks really good right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Uh huh. But we about to smash. I'm gonna let y'all know what this tasting like though. I guess I will try the first little bite then. I wanted to get both of our bites on camera. Well, you just you can hold the camera when it's my turn to bite. Oh yeah, true. Um, all right, let's try it, y'all. Connor made the sweet potato. Connor actually made the greens and spinach. Cause I told y'all my friend called. Connor was just like, I'll just take over. And he's honestly a much better cook than me, if I'm if I'm honest. Mmm. <laughs> okay. You know what I realized? What? Those mustard greens, they're meant for salads and not to be fried or cooked. No, they can't be fried or cooked. They look so like, shriveled. That's, yeah babe. Huh? So does spinach, so does kale. I guess you're right. But it, it I will tastes say, okay? What's it need? I don't know. More salt? Is it bitter? I think you just need hot sauce. It's gonna be better. Well, everything needs hot sauce. But let's try this chicken. Oh, shit, it's pink! I'm just playing. I was about to be like, what the fuck? Just kidding! I'm not making no pink in this chicken. Instead, it's dry as hell. Mmm, -hmm. it's not dry <laughs> either. I got my red devil cayenne hot sauce here for my chicken. Connor has sriracha, because like I told y'all, he eats sriracha on everything. I don't know how he do it, because that shit is too spicy. But anyway, let's try this chicken. The sweet potatoes are pretty good too, babe. Did you put like something on them? Yeah, I put some butter in there and sugar. Can't nice. go wrong, and salt, yeah. Is it good? It's fat. The greens. Be honest, babe. Okay. You know, I don't like mustard greens. <laughs> I don't know, that's just a little weird. Mm. I'm not gonna eat them. Really? I'm getting, yeah, you like to get like, like you're eating rocks, like crunching this? Oh, I must have didn't clean them good enough. No, there's like sand in them or something. Ah. Oh. I'm not gonna eat that. You are. We don't waste food over here. It's okay with the rocks, it's natural. Bad for your teeth. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Oh, well that's a bummer. Maybe the, I mean, the tomatoes are probably fine. I thought I cleaned them good enough. Anyways, try the other stuff. The sweet potatoes, the chicken. Okay, okay. Sweet potatoes are delicious. Okay. Of course, because you made those, right? Mm hmm They actually finally taste like how I've always wanted them to taste. Let's see. Chicken is really good. Yeah? It's just a smidgen dry. Oh my god! You are such a hater! Hey! It ain't no damn dry! All that juice! Time it's gonna be better. All of this juice though, it's not dry y'all. I swear my chicken not dry. He's yeah. such a hater. All that juice because that juice should be in the chicken. Oh, 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 no, you never just came with me like that. No, you never did just come with me like that. Anyway. That's really good though. Connor is a wrong. hater. Nope. Really Connor good. is a hater. My shit fat, period. So yeah, y'all, we're about to finish our food. Our I guess. Dry ass rock field food. <laughs> our dry ass rock field food. Whatever. It's, it's still nutritional. It like is. I said, I will eat the collard greens. No problem. Put some hot sauce on them. And I will eat the rocks and all. Mm -hmm. So now we're about to watch State Property. Connor never seen State Property. It's one of like, one of my favorite movies, I guess I would say. You either get out or lay down. 
if you've seen state property then you you definitely know that line but we're gonna end this vlog here thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video give us a big thumbs up i don't know why i said us because this is my channel it's her channel it's my channel i'm not making this into no interpersonal thing okay maybe maybe I'll start an answer. No, just That's like a side fact. It's like a side. Yeah, fact. It's I just a, it's don't. A footnote to the. Yeah, because I don't. The entire thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't really want to be known as like the interracial couple. Like that's just not my shit. Y'all know. Y'all know. But I'm just saying, like maybe down down the road, maybe me and Connor will have a channel together. I don't know. If you guys like seeing Connor, but the Connor and Sierra Empire will start slowly breaking off uh, into new shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You eating them. He eating them. Um, look at him, y'all. He eating them greens, though. He just said he wasn't going to eat it. I'm not eating this. Look at him. Look at him. Collard green, uh, mustard green, and potato in hand. Thank y'all for watching. I will see you in my next video. Peace.